Hello, welcome to SoundOp Tutorials. In this video, we will focus on processors and batch processing files. In the audio file editor, you can use processors to perform a series of predefined operations on audio files. And you can edit the processors in the processor panel. To add a processor, click the Add Processor button. To rename a processor, click the name of the processor and edit. To remove processors, select the processors, then click the Remove Processor button. And you can also remove processors with the Delete key in the shortcut menu. To add an action to a processor, click the Add Action button and select an operation in the menu. To remove actions, select the actions and click the Remove Action button. And you can also remove action with the Delete key in the shortcut menu. To edit an action, select the action and click the Edit Action button. You can also double-click an action to edit it. An action can have a predefined range that the operation will apply. You can capture the current selection to the selected action. and restore selection from the selected action. To change the order of actions, drag an action to change its position. And you can hold the control key when dropping to duplicate the action. You can also edit the action list with copy-paste, copy, paste, cut, paste. To apply a processor to the active audio file, click the Run button or choose a command in the processor menu. And you can also set a keyboard shortcut to apply a processor. To apply processors to multiple audio files, you can create a batch processor and select a processor in the batch processor. To add files to the processing list, you can drag and drop files, or click the Add Files button. To remove files from the processing list, click the Remove Files button, or press the Delete key. And you can set the target format and target file name for processing. When you finish setting up, click the Run button to start processing. When processing, you can click the Cancel button to cancel processing for all files, or cancel processing for selected files in the shortcut menu. After finishing processing, you can open the target file with the shortcut menu. And you can also turn on the option to remove files from the list on completion. The keyboard shortcut for batch processing. Start processing. Well, that's all for now, thanks for watching.